Principles of Management 3025 Team Office Jam presented by Diego, Mitch, Carly, Benny, Carla, and Damien. Benny, carefully matching every child to their ideal monster <coughs> to produce superior screen, refined into clean, dependable energy. Every time you turn something on, Monsters Incorporated is there. I'm Monsters Incorporated. We're working for a better tomorrow. The name of our show is The Boardroom. The concept of this show is the board's annual review of Monster Inc. The board will educate and review management strategies by showing events that have taken place at Monsters Inc. This is episode 4, Moral Intensity. I'll explain later, Rock. Okay, let's move, let's move, let's move, come on. Oh, please be there, please be there, please be there. <gasps> there it is, just like Randall said. Randall? Oh, wait a minute. Reviewed by board member Benny Hunko. In this episode, Mike and Sully are trying to return Boo back to her room. The door is waiting for her, for them, and when Mike enters the room, Randall captures Mike and places him in a box. The door was waiting for them with a clear, cleared scare floor, which is against company policy. Our policy states that no doors are to be left active when not in use. The unethical actions are continued when Randall kidnaps Mike and holds him captive. It's been provided to illustrate the moral intensity matrix. The moral intensity matrix is comprised of a magnitude of consequences, social consequences, probability of effect, temporal immediacy, and proximity. I will analyze the moral intensity factors exhibited by Randall using the intensity matrix. For magnitude of consequences, Randall is aware that he is in violation of company policy. He is choosing to act in secret to prevent the consequences of his actions. For social constants, everyone at Monsters Inc. is aware of policy and procedure. The consensus would agree with Mike and Sully that Randall's acts are morally wrong. Describing the probability of effect, the probability of Randall receiving consequences for his actions are minimal since his actions are in secret and the company is unaware of them. Temporal immediacy. Randall has been lucky that consequences have not been inflicted upon him, but when Boo is introduced to the monster's world, Randall was starting to feel pressure. Proximity. Randall feels no sympathetic emotions to his unethical actions. The proximity of a moral intensity dynamic is justified in his mind for the overall greater good of monsters.